सभी को नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम वी आर डूइंग यू एच वी थ्री एंड इन यू एच वी थ्री वी वर ऑन द लास्ट मॉड्यूल वेर वी आर ट्राइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड ह्यूमन कॉन्डक्ट एंड सींग दिस ऑल एंड कैप पैसिंग रेजोल्यूशन इन आर वे ऑफ लिविंग so in lecture 21 we spoke of the human conduct from the point of view of model 1 where we were looking at the role of the human being within us how we can have completeness of human conduct there is another way of looking at it which we have been looking now in this lecture lecture 22 which is model 2 in model 2 we are looking at another description for human conduct and this is in terms of we are talking in terms of human values policy and character these three things yesterday we briefly discussed we'll just go over a brief recap so that um, because these are this is relatively new information which we perhaps are not familiar with so we'll just do a brief recap so in model 2 we are articulating this conduct in terms of three things one is the human values the other is the policy and the third is the character so let's look at these so if you look at human values essentially what it is is to know what to do as a human being what not to do as a human being what is right for me what is of value to me that understanding of eventually in my conduct what i should do what i should not do knowing that myself without somebody having to tell me from outside and make rules to ensure that knowing that within me understanding this when it comes to policy policy is the detail about how to do so once i know what to do as a human being then i have to think about how to do it so i have to plan it make the program i have to be able to implement it in real life means in my interaction with others i have to be able to get the outcome because without the outcome what is the use i should be able to evaluate this outcome also so you can have the policy of enrichment policy for protection and policy for right utilization so enrichment protection and right utilization of what of myself of the body and of the physical facility that i have essentially what this means is that for myself enrichment would mean moving towards self development enriching myself moving towards understanding for the body giving it the right right nourishment and so on and for the physical facility making sure that what we have we are able to like for instance if you are growing something you will grow it with an attempt to have it um grow with the right quality and as much quantity as generally you know it is possible without disrupting nature so this would be something to do with enrichment 
then policy for protection again protection of self protection of body protection of physical facility and policy for right utilization again right utilization of self of body of physical facility for instance right utilization of self is moving towards understanding not being stuck with trying to get happiness through the body and other things like that similarly if we look at the body right utilization of the body would be using the body as a tool for the purpose of the self that is for moving towards self realization and not otherwise and similarly right utilization of physical facility would mean that we use the physical facility in a way that whatever we already have we use it we preserve it don't allow it to just um spoil and we use it for the right purpose if we look at character character has to do with compassionate behavior work and participation in the larger order which is on the basis of the human values so in our behavior how would it look like we would make sure to ensure justice and mutual happiness and we will also fill the gaps which have been created in ignorance that means in the past we may have made mistakes so to compensate for those mistakes not only will we behave ensuring justice now but we will also compensate for the mistakes that we did in the past in our behavior in work we ensure preservation and mutual prosperity and again also fill in the gaps in ignorance so in the past we may have done many mistakes like we were taking the example of you know depleting the forests depleting the soil and so on so we preserve now and work ensuring mutual prosperity but at the same time we need to compensate for what mistakes we did in the past so we may have to plant more trees so that we can compensate for all the disruption of the forest that we did in the past and so on if we look at wealth you know how we acquire wealth that is significant that is also included in the character so we acquire wealth that is rightfully ours not grab from somewhere else not try to take another's wealth not try to exploit the other and so on so acquiring wealth in a rightful manner and then chastity in conjugal relationships this is also included in character so if we look at this when we are talking of the values and the participation now what happens within the self in the self when i am working for this i have the feelings of happiness peace satisfaction and bliss and we'll come to the, all this in a little while so these are four things right happiness peace satisfaction bliss or you can put all these club all these together and call it continuous happiness when i am working with the universal human order for the universal human order outside then there is perseverance bravery generosity these are of value and with that outside the expression part kindness beneficence and compassion so we'll come to all of these 
we'll discuss all of these in detail. So these are six other values. Then in human-human relationship, are we doing justice to our in our relationships? There, we already have um, looked at the nine established values that we speak of in UHV2. Those are the values that are ensured in us. With those values ensured in us, we express to the other. Those have been given words, names, in terms of the nine expressed values. So you can say total 18. And in human rest of nature relationship, we have, when, we, when it comes to physical facility, rest of nature, utility value and artistic value. So that makes two more values. So now if you add up all these, 4 plus 6 plus 18 plus 2, you get 30 values. So these uh, we will speak of in a little bit in some detail. So if you look at this, when I'm able to see the coexistence, when I'm in harmony within myself, I can have happiness at the level of selecting, tasting, peace, when my thoughts are in harmony, satisfaction, when I am seeing my relationship with others and I am able to participate, I am able to see my role in the existence. Bliss, when I understand the harmony that is there in all of nature and ultimately when I see the coexistence, you can call it super bliss. In Hindi, we use the term Paramanand. So now, again, these are terms that we have used, but ultimately to be able to experience these feelings is what is significant. And this we can do when we are in harmony within ourselves on the basis of seeing the coexistence. If you look at our participation towards universal human order, then these terms we use, perseverance, bravery, generosity, kindness, beneficence, and compassion. And we'll come to this in a little bit uh, more detail. We'll look at all of these in more detail. And similarly, in human-human relationships, so that we do justice in all our relationships. We will look at, we already have looked at the nine established values, the values that we need to ensure within us, the right feeling that we can ensure within us. And when we have these feelings ensured within us, it reflects in our behavior in the form of nine expressed values, which we will talk of in a while. And when it comes to participation with the rest of nature, seeing my relatedness with all of nature, then there are two values that we must know about and have. One is utility value and the other is artistic value. And this also we will look at. So if we look at this, this chart you're all familiar with, you can see how um, we have on the one end realization within. With that realization within, the higher activities guide the lower activities. And then ultimately, based on the decisions, based on knowing what to do and then planning out how to do at the level of thought. Then we give instruction to the body and we have the expression outside in the terms of doing. 
So this, uh, you can, uh, I think we didn't finish this part of the chart completely. What we'll do is we'll first take a question and then we'll come back to this. Um, namaste, good morning. Namaste, Didi. Si, namaste. Uh, namaste, my other friends. Didi, a e, e, nine the values that we know established value thick uh, uh, it's okay but nine expressed value so means that what we know uh, means no means we are say practicing for example so then that is expression itself so why it is separately told other nine is uh, expressed values yeah because see like for example if we take the value of trust hmm you ensure the feeling of trust in you, isn't it? Sorry. So what does that mean? That you don't doubt the intention of the other. Achha. You have clarity, isn't it? That's what hmm. trust is, isn't it? That you have clarity about the competence, that the other is lacking in competence, but you don't doubt the intention. That's what it means. When I have trust on the other means, I have clarity that their intention is similar to mine. They also want to make me happy, just like I want to make them happy. Hmm. These are the eight, from the eight questions we deduce this, no? The feeling hmm. of trust. So now you have the feeling of trust in you. Hmm. That the other intention is pure. It is only the competence that is lacking. This is the established value that you have established within yourself. Now... That's now, when you have to interact with this person, when you, make, ah, when you make the program with this hmm. person, hmm. what do you do? What do we keep saying? We see our complementarity with this other person, isn't it? Hmm. Hmm. So, what, is, what do we do in our behavior? We try to help with the competence, all the while keeping our feeling right. The feeling of trust is ensured with that we help the other improve their competence. So we call that complementarity. We see hmm. our complementarity with that person. So now hmm. the expressed value is the complementarity. In Achha. a way, then you can say that when you are able to do this in your living hmm. all the while, continuously, then you can say that yes, Achha. I have the feeling of trust ensured. Achha. Achha. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so actually it is the same thing same, uh, whether we are implementing in our practical life that's the uh, na, didi. Uh, when you express it what it will uh, look like uh, uh, uh. No? trust okay. within you hmm. is one thing it is ensured within you hmm. now when you interact when you make the program how it will hmm. look like an expression that is your expressed hmm. value so for hmm. each of these nine feelings there are nine hmm. Express feelings of value. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Actually, these are the uni universal values. You know that everybody will be accept now. Whether I am in, uh, expressing in my behavior, whether I am doing accordingly. So that's the point. That is expression, actually. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Hmm. And Thank that you. can be a feedback way of checking for myself. Uh -huh. I'm really having the feeling of trust. Like we say, yes, yes, I trust everyone. But hmm. then, if I'm not able to see my complementarity, if I'm uh -huh. not able to participate by helping the other, hmm. without, you know, losing that trust in uh -huh. me, hmm. that just becomes a way to check for myself that I don't have trust at that moment. Hmm. Isn't it? Hmm. Yes. Mutual happiness, mutual uh, prosperity, like that. Yeah, prosperity mm. when it comes to nature. Uh -huh. Prosperity. Hmm. When we are looking at interaction with other human beings, then uh -huh. we are looking for mutual. justice in the relationship. Uh -huh. yeah? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. And uh, really once more, uh, you uh, explain this. This. A bliss, satisfaction, peace, happiness. Again, yeah, yeah. confusion. Yeah. Yes, yes, we'll come to that. We are just going to start that. 
नमस्कार मैडम नमस्कार टू ऑल मैडम इन इनडेज असाइनमेंट द सेकंड सेंटेंस चेक इफ यू आर इंश्योरिंग जस्टिस इन ऑल योर रिलेशंस कुड यू प्लीज एलाबोरेट या थैंक यू व्हेन वी इंटरेक्ट विद अदर्स आर वी लुकिंग फॉर आर फुलफिलमेंट एंड द फुलफिलमेंट ऑफ द अदर or is our focus only on trying to see for myself for instance like say within the family also my child say hmm? now my child uh suppose if i say something to the child and the child doesn't feel like doing so i say that you you know right now you don't do this you finish your homework first or i tell the child you need to help in the house so you help to do the dishes today or something like that and the child doesn't feel like doing and the child answers back and says no i don't want to do now what is my interaction with this child do i get angry irritated if i am getting angry or irritated that means what i am reacting i am reacting and i don't have trust on his intention yep. i am doubting his intention yes ma'am because i say he doesn't want to he doesn't listen he doesn't want to listen he doesn't behave properly he should obey me he doesn't obey me whatever it may be mm, okay? ma'am so i am at that moment i don't have the feeling of trust in me because i am doubting his intention yeah i am not able to see clearly that this is a lack of competence not that he wants to disobey me not that he wants to make me unhappy but he may be finding you know looking for happiness in something else that he is doing isn't it yeah madam so when i see that supposing i see it within me i can see that this is only lack of competence it is not a you know problem with the intention his intention is as pure as mine now when i see that i see that if i have more competence which i think i do then how can i help him this becomes my focus so something that is fulfilling for me as well as fulfilling for the other so he also wants to know but right now his competence is lacking so what i can do to help him with this competence with concern with the right feeling ensuring the feeling of trust in me that would be justice in the relationship okay madam okay i think that will lead to mutual fulfillment yeah 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 okay madam thank you thank you so if you look at the what we call the feeling of happiness this is at the level of selecting and tasting what is at the level of selecting and tasting now here we are talking about when you are having these lower activities on the basis of realization so now we are not going from below up but we are looking at things when already there is realization then how the lower activities come in line and what you experience isn't it so there will be harmony at the level of selecting and tasting that is now selecting and tasting is on the basis of your goal on the basis of the value on the basis of the coexistence that is guiding the sensation and on that basis i am having that harmony within me so in fact it is step by step so you can say that this harmony within 
you know at the level of selecting tasting it is guided by the next activity above which is comparing and analyzing then if you look at comparing and analyzing next part you will see that at the level of thought if you have harmony at the level of thought meaning all your thoughts are there is no conflict in the thoughts you know the thoughts are peaceful so you have the feeling of peace within you how will you have no conflict in your thoughts peaceful thoughts that is when those uh, higher activities the coexistence the harmony the justice those are guiding not only sensation you can analyze and you can see that the sensation within the body needs to be used for its rightful purpose you need to use the body for the purpose of the self so you are no longer trying to get happiness through the senses you have decided that and that now guides that you know thinking about that that now guides your sensation so this being able to see this and being able to guide the sensation similarly when it comes to health earlier you may have been using lot of resources trying to outsource your you know keeping the body healthy to say doctors nurses hospitals just being totally dependent on medication somebody will find a cure and they will help me and my whole purpose of keeping the body healthy is to enjoy the you know indulge in the senses of the body but now with this um, you know guidance from above now i am able to see that if i need to keep the body healthy then i need to work for it i see my responsibility i have the feeling of self regulation as part of my right feeling so when i look at the body with the body when i see my relatedness i see that i have to take responsibility and with that responsibility i ensure that the body is in good health all the while being aware of the purpose of the healthy body and now i no longer look to accumulate more and more physical facility rather i rightly utilize that physical facility i share it with others i look at mutual prosperity and so on so this on the basis of comparing if you look analyzing and comparing the immediate activity above which is guiding this is your contemplation and desire so at the level of contemplation when i am able to see my relatedness in my interaction with other human beings and so on then i am also able to see this that because i have the relationship i focus on my participation i see my relatedness and with that relatedness comes the commitment and the responsibility that i take on and see what is my part in this so i play my part and that now guides my desire and then this desire to live in this manner that then is guiding the thoughts the analyzing the comparing and therefore there is peace at the level of thought so at the level of desire and contemplation when there is harmony there then this we call satisfaction that means all my desires are now guided by this contemplation about my role 
in the existence my role with all of nature my participation with other human beings so now my desires are very definite my desires become definite that this is what i want to do and therefore these guide now the lower activities the thought the analysis and the selecting tasting and if you look at the desires and the contemplation where are they getting their guidance from through the understanding and determination so when i have harmony at this level at the level of desire at the level of contemplation this is termed feeling of satisfaction because i can play my part i see my role and i feel satisfied when i play my role so if we go forward and we see you know if we look at the understanding and the determination part and yeah so if we look at that now when there is harmony at the level of determination and understanding understanding means i have clarity about the harmony in nature i am able to see the self organization i am able to see the innateness of all the units in nature so i understand that i have clarity about that about that harmony and with that comes the determination that now i all my effort will be for mutual enrichment that all this that is happening in nature in a self organized manner and i see i am the only one who is disrupting it then i have the determination that now my effort will be that not only do i get enriched but i make sure that the plants the trees everything around me is also enriched that determination i make so when i have harmony here at the level of determination at the level of understanding the harmony this is called bliss feeling of bliss and if you look at the understanding and determination where is it getting its guidance from it's getting the guidance from the realization being able to see the coexistence directly being able to see that this is how things are this harmony is like this this relatedness is like this because all these units are submerged in space at the base of all of these there is the space and i am able to see that this realization this clarity about the coexistence this clarity being able to see the submergence this is realization then on the basis of this realization i have authentication within me that means now all my effort is going to be for living in coexistence so for that all my lower activities i now decide that they must come in line with this because this is what is now at the base for me this becomes my guiding light so this you can we said refer to it as super bliss or for lack of a better word but eventually again these are feelings to be experienced rather than you know about just the word the term there is perhaps a question uh ma'am this determination is uh, regarding the firmness or is, is it the uh, is it a um, uh, ability to find out the truth understand and then find out the truth here it is i think it is mentioned as an Uh, as a firmness to do uh, uh, something for mutual uh, enrichment or is it uh, from understanding we are able to determine something determine the truth uh, through research etc through uh, our efforts 
No, when I see this, when I understand the harmony in nature, then the determination is not like how we just say, I'm determined to do this. We say determined in a in normal talk, when we say, I am determined to do this, we are talking about one small thing that we want to do, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But here, that determination is, it means what? that now all my effort I have decided will be for this mutual enrichment. That is being referred to as determination. So not Actually, just for one small thing, but now for another, all of nature, I am able to see that. Determination has got another meaning also, to determine something. Determine means finding out. So uh, No, no, a, this is not the meaning here. That is not the meaning. Okay. Thank you. So with this, we can see that we can have these feelings within us at each level based on the harmony that we have at every level. And of course, when you are at the level of realization, with that, you can, as you are coming down, have harmony at every level here at every level of these activities. Yes, so we'll go further. Now, when I'm working for the universal human order, when I'm participating for that, we talked of these values, right? Perseverance, bravery, generosity. So perseverance is my commitment to live in harmony at all the four levels with patience. That means within myself, my perseverance is for uh, not only seeing the realization, but then bringing it in my conduct, living in harmony at all the four levels. So I am committed to doing that. Now, in this, you might find some roadblocks. You might find that the environment may not always be conducive. The people around you may not see, you know, the effort that you are making. They may not understand what you are doing. And you may feel that they are not supporting. But regardless of what is happening outside, regardless of the condition of the environment, may or may not be conducive, still I persevere with patience, with that commitment that I want to live in harmony at all four levels. That is referred to as perseverance. If you look at brevity or bravery, this is the commitment for helping the other to understand the harmony and to live in harmony at all four levels. So while perseverance is for myself to live in harmony at all four levels, regardless of what the environment is like, I keep persevering, I have patience, and I continue to work, make effort for living in harmony at all four levels. Now, bravery is not only am I trying to make effort to live in harmony, I am also committed to helping the other. I see that the other also eventually wants to live in harmony, wants to understand the harmony. So I am committed to help this other to understand the harmony and to live in harmony at all the four levels. This is bravery. And if you look at generosity, I not only see that the other needs to understand harmony and live in harmony, and that I want to you know, help them, but now I can see that I am so committed that I am ready to invest myself 
my body and everything that I have in terms of physical facility for this understanding and living of harmony at all four levels. I am ready to invest all this in the other to help them understand, to help them live in harmony. So that is generosity. This generosity, is it for the other? That is not written. Uh, my, uh, no, but that's what it is, right? You will be generous to others, no? Uh, uh, uh. Isn't it? When you are oh, already and... committed for yourself, you know, you will do this. But for others, also, you will do it. So, you will use yourself, your body, whatever you have to try to help in the societal development in that way. For others to live in harmony, to understand the harmony. Yeah, that's what. Mm -hmm. uh, but but, but that other word is not written uh, uh, there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, it is yeah. actually meant for the other. Yeah, I mean, you're already doing it with, perse you're persevering for yourself already, ah. isn't it? Now, mm. bravery is when you are committed to help the other. Generosity mm. is when you are not only committed to help the other, but you are also helping with everything that you have. Yes. So you have at your disposal only the self, the body and whatever physical facility. So everything you are willing to invest in. Yeah. Okay. That is generosity. Namaste, madam. Ji, namaste. Uh, yeah, the three words I liked it, Dirta, Virta, Udharta. These three words yes. itself cover really, I mean, uh, just of the thing. That is yes. what I wanted to do. Thank true, you. True, true. Lot of times, you know, the Hindi words, the original words, they convey yes. the meaning in a much yeah. better way. And yeah. sometimes uh, the English words are not as... I, mean, I, I liked it. I was a student first in Hindi at SSE, uh -huh. and uh, I could win the prize by one mark by my two colleagues in English medium. So they were looking. I really liked it. These three words, just to just yeah. to compliment. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So we can go forward now. He also mentioned three other words here. Isn't it? He said perseverance, bravery, generosity, and then we mentioned kindness, beneficence, and compassion. So if you look at um, perseverance, bravery, generosity, this is about the commitment within myself. So these are the values, the feelings that I have when I make the commitment within myself, whether it be for myself, for the other, for investing everything that I have for the other and so on. But when I'm now interacting with the others, in my behavior, in my conduct, how I will see this? So if you look at kindness, what is kindness? I see that someone has the ability, somebody has, perhaps, you know, they are able to get there, but they don't have the means. So then I will provide the means, I will provide the physical facility to somebody who I see wants to go there, you know, is keen, wants to understand but doesn't have the ability to, I mean, doesn't have the means to. Beneficence is when I am helping the other to develop the competence, to utilize the means they already have. So, beneficence is when I am helping the other, they already have the means, they have, you know, the physical facility, they have everything but they are lacking in competence. So what I can do to help them to develop that competence and to rightly utilize the means that they have, that they already have. When I help the other in this manner, this is referred to as beneficence. And compassion is 
when i am helping the other unconditionally so they may have neither the competence nor the means and they don't even see this as something that is required for them even so i am ready and willing to help the other so i am willing to help them develop the competence as well as i am willing to help them with the means even though he has neither still i am doing that that is feeling of compassion so these six feelings or values are significant and i can work for that to have them in my conduct so only when i have the commitment within the perseverance the bravery the generosity then it will you know in my conduct it will show up as kindness beneficence and compassion uh, ma'am this here the competence what is the real meaning of competence right understanding only yeah working for right understanding skills for physical facility everything is included in that right understanding isn't it even for physical facility you are saying what is your question i uh, know skills skills for uh, acquiring physical facility so that is also part of right understanding ha huh. but skill for acquiring the physical facility but also with that understanding of how much is required yes sir yeah so that there can be prosperity within the other also now when it comes to participating in human human relationships we are familiar with these nine established values that we spoke of with trust as the foundation value and love as the complete value we'll just go over these briefly because you are all familiar with this trust is to be assured that the other intends my happiness and prosperity that the other wants to make me happy and prosperous i have the assurance that that is the other's intention this is trust like we were just discussing then the feeling of respect respect is right evaluation with what basis on the basis of the self that the other is like me and we can be complementary to each other then you have the feeling of affection affection when i accept the other as my relative that means i am able to see my relatedness with the other so i accept the other as my relative that is feeling of affection care is with this when i see my when i accept the other as my relative now i take the responsibility i am committed to nurturing and protecting the body of the relative that is care and when i see my when i accept the other as being my relative or when i see my relatedness with the other having the responsibility and commitment for ensuring right understanding and right feeling in the self of the other that is guidance so with the acceptance of the relatedness that is with the feeling of affection the natural outcome of that is to take care of the body and the self when it is you know taking responsibility of the body it is the feeling of care when it is taking responsibility for the self of the individual of the relative then that is guidance reverence is an acceptance for excellence for those that in whom i see excellence i have feeling of reverence i accept the excellence glory is an acceptance for those who have made effort for excellence so people who may not have reached excellence yet but they are working for it and i can see that and i have acceptance for these people who are making effort towards excellence then i have the feeling of glory for them when it comes to gratitude that is an acceptance for those who are making effort for my excellence 
i can see that i am working for excellence and those who are helping me who are making effort so that i can reach that excellence when i have acceptance for those i have feeling of gratitude for them so we can see that many people in our path of life have helped us in some way or the other or are making effort for my excellence so i can have gratitude for all of them whether they are providing the means whether they are providing me help in terms of guidance helping with the competence so for all of them i have the acceptance and i have the feeling of gratitude for them and then if i can see my relatedness with every unit that feeling of being related to all that is love that is the complete value so these values we already talked of in the uhv2 you are all familiar with them but this was just a brief recap uh, uh, ma'am actually in the previous two slides what is the difference between that uh, generosity and the compassion uh, that those two slides uh, what is the title difference between the title difference between and the title that is uh, the uh, what was that uh, generosity and uh, uh, that those two words brevity bre and uh, yeah one? perseverance bravery generosity that you want to know those two slides difference okay okay what we can go back to that too what does it mean this is uh, participation in okay one is natural characteristics one is that second one natural characteristic is what my participation no so both are uh, this one so both are natural Shall characteristics with the yeah but when i am see within me i make the commitment no so within myself i make the commitment only then will it be expressed outside isn't it Okay. so this perseverance bravery generosity this is inside that commitment within myself okay. Okay. and outside okay. when i actually make the program what i do outside there okay. it will show up as kindness beneficence compassion yeah ah uh, yeah both are okay. participation one is what i am working with inside and the other is the expression outside Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Yes. Similarly, now here, if we look at in the human-human relationship, the nine feelings, starting from trust as the foundation value, going up to love as the complete value, these are the feelings that I can ensure within myself on the basis of realization. on the basis of seeing my relatedness with all i can go to have all these feelings ensured within me where of course trust and respect would be you know at least the minimum is to have trust and respect for all we start from there and then we start seeing our relatedness with more and more and more people until we see our relatedness with all and we have the feeling of love now those are the established values within us we can ensure those values within us with these established values now when we interact with others in our expression it will show up as the expressed values you can go to the next slide yeah so here you can see the expressed values along with the established value so like we were talking in the example that we were taking in the beginning so if i have the feeling of trust in me i have established this feeling of trust i have ensured the feeling of trust in me with that now when i am trying to see that the other you know 
um, is lacking in competence, I try to help the other increase the competence. So I am able to see my complementariness with the other. So this would be the expressed value. That in my behavior, I become complementary to the other. And an indicator that I have this within me, this complementariness, this expressed value also, and I have the established value. Only if I have the established value of trust, will I be able to be complementary. So with this, you know, the indicator of this, that I have established the feeling of trust and I am expressing it as my complementarity with the other, the indicator of that will be that I am able to work with the other without any friction, without any irritation, without any, you know, difficulty. In a harmonious way, I am able to work with the other. This would be an indicator of the feeling of trust and the complementarity, complementariness within me. If you look at the feeling of respect or right evaluation, the expressed value will, of that will be the transparency. So, this transparency means what? When, you, when my evaluation of myself is the same as that of me by the other. So whatever I say is my right evaluation, the other also feels that is my right evaluation. That would be transparency. That means that I am, what I say I am or what I think I am, that is how the other also is perceiving me. There is no ambiguity there. It's not like I think of myself as something superior, but the other doesn't think of me that way. It's not like that. Whatever I evaluate myself to be, the other, if you ask them, you know, they are also evaluating me the same way. That means now I have transparency. An indicator that I have ensured the feeling of respect in me is that I feel like the other is like me and I'm complementary to the other and I'm able to, we are able to rightly evaluate each other, like I said. So this is respect and transparency. Uh, we'll come back to this tomorrow. And meanwhile, we can reflect on these values so far that we've discussed. I'll put an assignment in the group. And tomorrow we will uh, take your queries, your comments on this. So we'll stop here for now. Thank you all. Namaste.